Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. Today I want to make a window pocket. And so I'm gonna try it with this uh, music paper. It's a little large. I do want it doubled up, but I'm gonna trim it down some. save that number. All right. I'm going to fold it this way. It's a little more centered. Probably like so. And then, yeah, it's not folded the greatest. Well, now I just made it worse. Okay, let's see. Just a little bit off over here. Okay, good enough. Then I want the window about here. And I have this thing that I, I laminated a sticker of a butterfly. And... I think it would be great if I could use it. So I think I'm going to line it up at the top and then trim it down at the bottom here. It's about, then I just have to move it side to side to determine the exact location. This is the uh, matte laminating sheet, and I just think it looks a lot like vellum because you can still see through it somewhat. I've got like little fitzes of glue and whatnot on there, so that looks like it's a little piece of feather too. So get that as clean as I can. And then stand that up, get it out of the way so it doesn't. Okay. So I just noticed it's a little crooked over here. Um, I could put it in the middle like so. what would be the advantage then it wouldn't get caught or things wouldn't get stuck on it or caught behind it so I might do that so first I'm going to cut a hole so the way I do it is I just kind of eyeball the center of where I want this so about an inch and a half. Not quite an inch and a half in. And about an inch from the up and the bottom. So if I can get roughly a straight line going. Let me see if you're still in frame here. I'm just going to do the width of the ruler for now. I can always adjust it later. So I'm going to go about that middle of there. And to the top of that note. Okay. 
And then basically do the same over here. I started about that line, the middle line there. And then to the imaginary top note there. And then I'm just going to join these on each side. And if I don't get all the way from one corner to the next, that's okay, because I can always trim it a little. But, yeah, that one needs a bit of a trim. Okay. So, how did I have that again? Yeah, this is going to be the top because it's folded there, so it gives some strength. And then I can, well, I can do a couple things. I could either make the window larger or I could trim the butterfly on top. I think I'll do that. that and I'm gonna remember something today that I usually forget with windows and that is I'm going to remember to ink them and two this would be a good project to sew I won't I won't sew this one today but I'm just saying if you like to sew you could totally do that and it would look really nice. I guess I don't really need to do both sides, do I? I just have to remember which side I like for the front. And Kind of like this side, it's a little more balanced. So, could have thought of that sooner, huh? Oh well. I don't know who I saw do this. I think I must have seen somebody, but at the time it probably seemed too fiddly. But I had this butterfly sitting here and I thought I may as well do something with it. And too, with the butterfly inside, it will probably make the pocket a bit stronger. Do I want it right in the middle? Yeah, that's probably good enough. Kind of feel like I might want that on a side a little bit. So what happens? If I kind of slant it there. out the glue and then I can 
glue this one down as well. Sandwich that in there nicely. Yeah. I don't know, it's a little fiddly, but I think it's nice. And then I think I might want to um, round the corners. I know, I could have thought of that sooner. And two, I know there's already music on there, but I was thinking I might want to add some like stamps or something. I have these cute little stamps that I bought and I have hardly used them. They come on these impressive blocks, but they're all peeling off because of the glue they used. So when I want to use them, I have to squish them down. Maybe that's why I don't use them very much. This one's kind of nice. Maybe I'll go with this one today. Or to start. Maybe like right in that blank spot there. And then here's a vertical one. I just wanted something a little more. Okay. Yep, made in China. 15 pieces wooden rubber stamps. Mostly um, plants and animals on there, I think. So there's that. Then what? I think it needs a little more of a definition on the outside. I guess I didn't coffee stain this paper, so kind of needing a little more grunge. Okay, so there's that. I almost feel like I want some lace on there. This is one of my favorites. Maybe that. And there's a silver butterfly. Maybe something a little different. I have this gold butterfly that's kind of sitting in a window, I think. I think that might work. some bling up here or some pearls I always forget the pearls and I'm gonna do five ah well I thought I had five 
All right, then I'll just have to do four and then do one more because I really want to do five. Ugh. Okay, I really like the number five, I guess. So the hard part's going to be lining them all up. There. And now I've got to get rid of the thread. That looks all right. I suppose, I mean, I would have, it would have been nice to have some smaller pearls, but oh well. Okay. And that is our pocket. All right, so then we just have to put it in our journal. Don't want to put it on there because that would be a lot of music paper. work. already made one and that's where it ended up so it's already in our journal hmm so now what <laughs> I can just I don't know anyways I ended up putting it over here beside all the flower stickers and then I put this tag inside and there's a flower sticker on the tag um, booklet. So I forgot I had already stuck it in here. All right. So, well, I could put it in my other journal, but the whole point of sticking it in this journal was to do a verse and put that in there. So Let's go back to it. It's a nice ship. But according to his promise, we are looking for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you look for these things, be, dil sorry, be diligent to be found by him in peace and spotless and blameless second peter 3 verse 13 and 14 i always do this don't i anyways there's a spot for that one now i gotta find a smaller one for in there um, rapidly running out of verses too so all right this one will be nice will it it'll work
to those who have received a faith of the same kind as ours, by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. 2 Peter 1 verses 1 and 2. I think I'm going to stick this back in here and then hide that up there. I think that works. All right. Thanks for joining me today and uh, hope that helped someone try something new. Um, Thanks for stopping by, hanging out, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.